Alrighty, having a look at our maximum flow capacity, uh, just one example here, straight out of your, your textbook. Um, first thing you just want to make sure that we identify is, is the source and the sink. Alright, so this is where it all starts and this is where it all flows down to. Now we're going to uh, just work from left to right along our network, okay, starting from A to B. Alright, we've got 20 uh, units available to be able to pass the capacity for that arc. Um, and it's the only one coming into B, so therefore uh, we're going to pass the full 20 on. Um, down here from A to C, okay, I've got 40 as a capacity here, so I'm going to pass that 40 on, but it's not the only arc that's coming into C, so we're just going to leave that for the time being. Coming down this way to D, I've got 32 that I can pass on, it's the only one coming into D, so therefore I'm going to obviously take all of that and I can pass it all on. Now, from B down here to C, okay, I've got 20 available and I've got a demand of 20, so I'm going to have 20 coming down into C. Um, down this bottom part here, though, I've got a bit of a decision to make. At the moment, okay, if I was to just look at this and this here, I've got a total for the time being of 60 coming into C. Now, if I look from C and I look at what I need to distribute out, I've only got 30 and 15. So I've got 45 I need to pass on from C, and I've got 60 there. So I actually don't need anything else coming in to um, into this node here. All right, so this 20 here, I'm actually not going to pass any of that on. I'm going to pass the full 32 along this way here. All right, so that's going to get me 32 there. Now... Out of this 60 that I just referred to before, I'm going to pass the full 15 on up here. It's the only one coming into E, so that's going to stay there. And I've still got 45 left over, which means that I can pass on all of this down here towards F. Okay, So I haven't wasted anything. I literally have the maximum flow so far. Coming from node E, okay, I've got 15 units available. I've only got to need 10, so I can pass on the full 10 there. Um, and we can see that the maximum flow is going to be the sum of all of these three uh, amounts coming into the sink, into F, which gives us a maximum flow 